Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this is Wife Wednesday, Woohoo! a weekly series where she comes up with the topics. Yay, me! <laughs> I actually read one of the um, subscribers really lives for that part where I say woohoo and yay me, so I think I might be up to five like super fans. You're going to be bigger than me. Right. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so we're making this on Monday. Yes, we are. A few days in advance because I'm going to be at E3 as people watch this. Yes. And we were just watching the Sony press conference when they talked about how uh, it's going to be more accessible to developers than ever. And, and you, I was not happy about that. She was hating on that. She doesn't want developers to be able to write games for consoles. No, it's not that I don't want developers to write games for consoles. I don't want, you know, no screening process. Because I don't want any more games like Flower. And I know people really like Flower, but pretty much it's a pedal floating through the air. <laughs> You're such a Seriously, Flower hater. it's not a game. It's like a really bad movie. I, I read something about the development of Flower. I'm sure it took a lot of effort. No. It was beautiful. No? Okay. <laughs> it was like I a, was giving them, like, you know. It was a technical glitch. Like, they were trying to build some, di like, a game, and then they saw this weird, like, visual effect. And they're like, this is cool, let's stop here. And that's Flower. But then they also made that one called Journey. I don't know and like, Journey. Oh, Journey is by the same people of Flower, and you're like by yourself in the desert trying to find this point in the desert, and you meet up with one other person. And you can or cannot talk to them if you want to. It's up to you. And they're telling me in like the parent magazine, like, this is a great game for kids. What? Like... This is a horrible game. Apparently kids like bad games. I guess they like to just <laughs> run through the desert and spin through the... I mean, visually, it was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Again, so was Flower. Uh-huh. But I don't understand the point. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with this. There's no objective. I love how much you hate these games. <laughs> like, she's being kind right now. Offline, she's like, this is the stupidest game ever. Like, this game should not all exist. Right. What's going to happen is we're going to get all these ha this hate from the flower fans. <laughs> <laughs> like, if they're anything like you, if they like you, maybe they won't like flower either. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I but, don't want to hate on flower. Uh-huh. But. You just can't stop. I, it's not my favorite game. <laughs> I, I really, I need, you know, I need a little witty banter. I, I need something else. You like your games rated adult. You like I do. Death Spank. You're, you're searching the around cave. I for do thongs like, and like off t off color humor. And I do like off color humor in my games. You, she's a huge fan. But I also like my Lego games because those are a little tongue in cheek on some things too. Yeah, they they're clever sometimes, yes. right? Like yes. the, like it. You know, like there are jokes on different levels. You know, sometimes you see something and then like you watch it again six years later and you're like, I totally get that reference now. Well, yeah, but we're older, so we should already get that reference. We do, now. yeah, yeah. But I, I, I'm saying you like games that had that built into it. You yes. like games that that are like kid friendly, but you know, adult wink and nod. Yes, exactly. Those, those are my favorite. And Flower is not that game. No. <laughs> Flower is just like a visual bug or something that they just play with all I could game put it long. on in the background because I don't really think you do anything. I mean, maybe you direct which way the wind blows. Flower makes a damn good screensaver. It does. <laughs> it's an awesome screensaver. That's that's where Flower should be in the screensaver that's, mode. All right. All right. I'll, okay. New topic. New topic. Okay. Which one did you want to go with? You choose the topics. Okay, so you want to talk about where you're going to be this weekend, <clears throat> week, or I'll be at E3. Okay, that's it. That's that's all your you got. awesome topic. That was well. I thought I'll you were going to elaborate a little bit. Well, like, okay, what okay. will you be doing? Um, so Battlefield's flying me out to E3. So Wednesday, I'm pretty much working all day. They had me like at the Battlefield station. They're like, yeah, you know, three <gasps> sessions. It's Do like you have to. Will you have like. Will it be like the game, or will you be like playing like Battleship? I hope I'm playing Battlefield Four. <laughs> that there's like stuff to check out there. But, I hope um, you guys are in costume. <laughs> but uh, so I'm hope I'm playing Battlefield Four. I have a feeling I'll be playing Battlefield Three, and like I, I 
What I don't want to be happening is me getting pwned by Battlefield 3 pros. It, it For like, they're like, yeah, there's three sessions. I'm like, oh, that seems like a lot. Yeah, like three, three hour sessions. Like they're working your butt. They um, are working your yeah. butt. If you get a lunch break and that's about it. Yeah. Like they don't pay I don't me, even but know they, why they, they broke it up. They should have just said two to six. They oh. said two to four, four to six. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, they could have said like two to three fifty-five <laughs> and four to six. I'll give you five minutes. They should have just said all goddamn day. Yeah, they you're gonna get said, pwned yeah. by Battlefield pros. I, I, I'm a little nervous about how this works out, but I'll, I, I'm damn sure earning my plane ticket. It seems you like are. that. They are. They're, oh, like I shouldn't complain. I, you, there, there, there are plenty of not. people you're who just... would love to go to E3 and play games all day in exchange for the trip. Uh, I should be more grateful. Thank you, you are EA. Grateful. We love you. Um. But that's a long day. It is a long day. <laughs> hey, I'm going to have G Fuel in my bag. I gave G Fuel away at um, Digifest, yes. right? Which is like a weekend or two ago. And at the time, I was like sheepishly doing it. Like, is this, you know, are people, how are people going to react? But everyone loved it. They were like, yeah, absolutely. I'll take some free stuff. So I wrote the G Fuel guys, and I was like, people really like that I gave away your product. Um, you got me more? And they sent me like, yeah, we have to put that in your luggage. It's like 25 pounds of G Fuel or something ridiculous like that. You might that. need a second luggage bag. I don't think I can fit all the stuff they sent me in my backpack. And they have pink lemonade, which people are curious about. So it's actually my favorite flavor. Really? Because um, the fruit punch is my favorite flavor. Really? They and Hopes is the blue raspberry. There's something called a Britney Spears where you mix the pink lemonade and the blue stuff. like like Or Britney really? Palmer. Britney Palmer, they call it. You know, there's like an yeah, Almer Yeah, now Palmer. I get that. You never told me this. Yeah. This is like some like okay. After this, we're doing a science experiment downstairs. I can't. It's nine p.m. If I have this stuff, I'll be up till tomorrow. You're gonna be up till tomorrow anyway. <laughs> I got videos yes. to make. Maybe I should have some. But um, but yeah, I'll be giving away G Fuel to anybody that wants it for free, just for nothing. People liked it last time, so. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Hey, we need. Oh, you had another topic. I did. What so was... we were gonna talk about um what we've been going through with Colin. But I don't know if we have enough time. Yeah, we'll run over. What okay. The heck? Um, so he had a virus, and mm -hmm. um, it, it's not mono, but it's in that mono family. So it's going to take him several months to get back on his feet. Um, but last week we kind of got confirmed by the neurologist that he has Tourette's, which sucks. Which does. He's really struggling with a lot of ticks, um, a lot of um, repetitive things. Um, that go along with it and just really struggling it with his studies right now and it's kind of heartbreaking to watch because he had been doing so well yeah and he, he had stopped talking for <clears throat> two weeks and we're like oh great he's talking and then the ticks started coming up more and more so and, um I, i'm gonna link one of these ending videos that you see on your screen right now will be me talking about me and my tourettes if you've never seen it before and it's pretty good so check that out but um People think of Tourette's and they think of like the Hollywood version of Tourette's. And that's true. It, it does exist where people just shout out like five curse words in a row and they can't control themselves. But that's not what you see most of the time. Sometimes you see little, even verbal tics like a cluck or a <coughs> stuff like that. Or like with me, I don't even say anything or whatever, but I'll do like a facial grimace that it's like I don't have to do it it's not like but i almost feel incomplete if i don't do it and i, I can't resist it and um uh you know and it just it's a facial tick or, or something like that it's not a big deal i live with it forever you don't like it bite me we're all good but with colin he's doing like he'll knock um three or five three to five times on like everything Oh, really? I, I've, I've seen him do it on his wrist a lot. Like, he's doing his nose, his wrist, on so other things. So, you know, the, the, the motion where, you know, you knock on a door, right? You bend your wrist, you sort of bang it with your knuckles. He does that to his own wrist, and then he'll, like, switch and do it yeah. to his other wrist and make it even. He um, he blinks. He blinks. I blink. Um, he's ha he's struggling with it more than I am. Well, and, and what I've read is that when you hit about 10 years old, this is kind of when it kind of all really comes out for a lot of kids. Awesome. Yeah. So, and he'll probably be struggling for for the rest of his life. But we did find through literature that if we reduce his MSG intake, you know, uh, a, a lot of like processed foods, which are his favorite foods, then you know these ticks will be reduced. And so now we're like 
going organic and yeah cleaning the house with special you know just Jeez. clean household cleaners and really trying to help the entire family be healthier because medications won't help him um the doctor said to me oh, we're not going to medicate him this yeah. isn't going to work for him and a lot of families said it doesn't work for them and i i think there are many the the tourette's medications apparently make you like a zombie a lot of people that yeah. even have much more severe tourette's than he or i decline using them because the side effects are worse than the disease. Yeah, and that's what I, I had also read. So I'm reading these stories about different families and what they've done. And for us, it's really heartbreaking to watch him because he had been doing so well. And now he is just stuck in this repetitive, constant it's, tickiness. And it stinks because sometimes people are like, you know, hey, how's Colin? Is he better yet? And you, it, he doesn't have a cold. You know, like, no, and, and it's fun when the news is awesome. Like, you know, what, two months ago, everything was just pure awesome. It was like, oh, my God, his breakthroughs, his talking, yes. is this, is, like, everything was great. And then there are other times, like right now, where everything is so challenging. And you're just like, why the hell is the universe picking on my son? It is. And it, and it really is pretty much bringing everybody in the family a little bit down. And it's not... We're over. We're gonna. We've got a plan. We we're moving forward and that kind of stuff. But when you watch him struggle and he's trying to do his work and he has to repeat the same word, almost like a mantra, you just feel really bad for him because you know he can't not do it. And it's just it breaks my heart to watch him. And you want to just give him and just tell him, oh, you're doing great, and just kind of because you know he knows. He's looking at you knowing that he's not supposed to be doing it. But and, he can't stop. And he can't stop himself. So, uh, you know, keep your fingers crossed. And mm -hmm. hopefully, yeah, hopefully the diet stuff is a big breakthrough. That's the first thing we're trying, you know. And we, it's certainly going to help everybody. Make me sexy. It, you're already sexy, baby. <laughs> uh, you know, and this isn't because when, like a couple weeks ago, we were really worried about why he wasn't talking. And I thought he had you know something really bad like leukemia or something so i'm trying i really did You're i was wow. really worried because he wasn't getting better from his virus so you never said that to me i didn't but i was really worried and so this is not you know a death sentence this is definitely you know there's hope out there so but he is having you know just a bad period in his life and like hopefully we'll be able to kind of fix it as well as to the best of our ability so that's pretty much the wow. happy update. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Sorry to bring everybody down. Life Wednesday. Um, Life is not always happy uh, all the time here. But it's not easy to hold us down. So We're going to just keep moving forward. Yeah. And, and we've got, um, you know, I think uh, some struggles ahead, but we're going to keep moving forward. There you have it. Wife Wednesday. <laughs>